Hello, welcome back. So to get the mod running, we will need parts 1 through to 9, and then patch 1.24 takes it a step further, and then 1.25, and finally 1.26. 1.26 is experimental, so we may run into instability there. Additionally, we will need Half-Life 2, Episode 1, and episode 2 to be installed to get this working. So once you've downloaded the files you're going to need to extract them. You can't just double click and start installing it, you have to extract them. So I've created another empty folder and this is where all the extracted files are going to go and then from here we can then install the mod. Alright so extracting part 1 will take care of all parts, parts 1 through to 9. So for extraction I'm using a program called 7-Zip which will be linked in the video description. It's very easy to use. So we start off by double clicking. Well you can right click but I'm double clicking. There we are, Cinematic Mod 2013 1.2 and then I'm going to extract them to this file here and click OK. And there we are. That is the main mod. But first, I'm going to extract the patches as well. So we'll extract Patch 1.24, 2.5 and then 2.6. There we are. 1.25. Again, the same method. And finally, 1.26. And there we are. We can now close that and we can start installing the mod. Double click and then double click the installer. So it recommends that you exit Steam, which I have. It strongly recommends that you do that. Click next. Agree to the terms. Hit next. And here you want to make sure you've got the path correct. So drive C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and it will be installed here and it will be at the top and it will say something like um, CM2013. I forget exactly, but it will be something like that. You, you'll be able to see it up here. So that so make sure that the, the path is correct. You must install into the correct common folder. So it's this one. So click next. Make sure that Steam isn't running once again and then hit next again. And this will take there we are, CM2013. This will take quite a while. I would think it will take a good 10 minutes, maybe more. Okay, so some time later that will finish. It says the installer has to copy some files from your official Half-Life 2 folder and it will then assume that it has the correct location of that Half-Life 2 folder and if you're satisfied that it does have the right um, address then just click next. If not, you can change it. Next again. Once that's done, we then come to the um, C++ runtime libraries and DirectX runtime library. Click next. Uh, hit ya yeah or yes. Yeah. 
and automatically it's uh, selected repair. So that's what I'm going to go with. Click next again. Repair is complete. Click finish. And as mentioned, the DirectX follows. Accept the agreement. Click next. Next again. The components installed are now ready for use, so click finish. And this bottom window will have changed to installation successful, click finish. And in our common folder, we now have the base mod. So now we're going to go to 1.24. This one also comes with an installer. Double click. Yes. Hit next. Again, make sure that the path is correct, so it should be going into your common folder. And then hit next. Make sure that Steam isn't running once again. And this shouldn't take very long, not, not as long as the last time. Right, once that's done, we have the installation successful window pop up. And just click finish. And then back to our extracted files. We can now update this to 1.25. Now 1.25 and 1.26 do not come with an installer, but it's still really easy. So double click 1.25. And all you have to do is copy and paste that into the Steam Apps common folder and overwrite anything I've asked. So control C and then Control V. Replace the files in the destination. Okay, and then finally 1.26. Exactly the same. And again, if asked, then just replace them. And that is it. That is the end of the installation process. So the first thing to do is you can now start Steam. And once started, double click on the Cinematic Mod 2013 folder. And before we launch it with Episode 0, I recommend going into the Configurator just to have a look and to see what kind of settings you might like to use. Now I have got a, like a, what I've found to be quite good to start with, a number of settings which I will put on the screen right now. But if you don't want to use those, you could just select recommended uh, one or recommended two. But yeah, that's what I've been using. So I've now applied those settings to this version and I'm now going to just click OK. And then it should be ready to launch. And just to show you it working, just double click episode zero. And there we are. Let me read a letter I received. Dear Dr. Breen, why has the... 